also, y'all know, the other day, we put a DIY, or we started a DIY rain project um, for a rain barrel uh, here at the house. And we got the barrel installed, and it's coming from our water drain off the house. So I'm coming out today to check it, to see if it captured, oh, cool. Look at there, y'all. It captured some rain. Wow, that's awesome. All right, so we did get our rain in there. I'm gonna put a mosquito pellet in here because um, I have my um, I have my um, spigot coming, and I'll I'll post the uh, information for the spigot connection in here. But this lid fits snug. My brother fixed it so the lid does fit snugly. And I'm gonna uh, should be getting the water spigot um, Sunday or Monday, and uh, we're gonna put the hole in there so that we'll be able to attach a hose to it to let it run out into the garden to water uh, the garden naturally. So that's what we're hoping for. So we shall see what we shall see. Hey y'all, I am doing an update on my water thing. It rained last night, so I am checking to see what we got going on. Oh snap, look y'all. Look at all that rainwater. Wow. Y'all, I didn't even know we had that much rain last night. Okay, so my spigot should be here today or, uh, or tomorrow. So I'm working on another pet project. Um, yeah, I know I told y'all I did the um, 32 gallon um, rain barrel and um, I realized I needed a couple more barrels because the water the rain water that came it overfilled it so fast so I um, got two more um, trash cans and these these run about 19 bucks um, at the hardware store and at my Amazon where I got my first one from um, and then I got this uh, PVC conduit elbow uh, connector, and it says liquid tight flexibility. So basically the way it works is I'm going to connect these two trash cans together by this because I want the water to be able to flow evenly. And when I turn the valve to get water from one, I want all the water to be coming all out of the same. So I don't have to keep um, putting... Um, um, spigots on each one of these. I can just have one with the spigot and all of these will be connected through uh, for the water to uh, flow through them. So basically this twists off and you see how that works. It has the ring already in there for the, for the tight seal. And then I'm going to put drill a hole near the top, well, the bottom. They're gonna be at the bottom. Because I've seen people do the hole at the top, but the problem with doing the hole at the top is you have to wait for the water to fill all the way up before you can get it, which that defeats the purpose. If you've got one half full and you've already used the one, the water's not gonna flow evenly over to the other one. But if they're the same um, at the bottom, the water's going to continually flow and fill up each one of them. So that's that's the idea. Definitely have a seal. Mm. Yeah, 
All right, so y'all see we got the pipe connected to the first bend. And we got our hole drilled for the second bend. And we're going to twist this loose and stick it through the hole down there and twist it together. And we got a hole over there to connect it to the third barrel. So let's go see if we can set it up. All right, y'all. So I got my barrels out here. As you can see, I got a connector here. This is the main one. I'm going to put some boards down over there so they have some flat to sit on and then i've got my connector on the last one and then my barrel that's gonna go in the middle has a hole there and it has a hole there so that we can connect them all three of them together so we're working on doing that now and then i'm gonna put the the wearing pipe back and we're gonna do a little test and see um how well it works hopefully i won't have any leaks is what i'm hoping for so we'll see all right guys so we got all three of the containers connected and set up i got a little leakage going on but i think we can maybe get some sealant to fix that um but i'll work on that part but for now i'm pretty still happy with the results so i got a hose in here filling it up so we can see how the pipes work you see the water's coming through the pipes to the second one and there it is coming into the third one i might change these out do a pvc pipe uh but i definitely am gonna go and get some washers to uh, take care of the the leaking that's going on okay but hey my diy project is working that way when next time the rain comes it should fill out both barrels without, um, let me turn this water off, without uh, us losing too much. All right, guys, so there is my DIY um, rain, um, rain barrel project completed. Uh, I think I need to get some little, um, what do you call them, um, sealants. I'll look for those, some little silics to go, and they should create that tight suction that I need on the barrels. Hey guys, so I got my spigot hooked up into the three rain barrel DIY system. Still messing with the kinks. Hey y'all, so um, I got my um, Uniseals today. I think they'll do a better um, secure um, on my, uh, my water barrels uniseal flexible adapters they are for turning rain or containers into um, conduits that don't leak so hopefully this will work so this is the rain barrel with the um, the uh, uniseal popped in and it does seem to have a really good uh, fit okay guys so I installed the washers and so far I'm not seeing a leak. I'm not seeing a leak. Let's see, it hasn't come over to the next one yet. Let's see if it comes over here. Oh, yep, it's coming over into the third barrel. So far, guys, no leaks. This is awesome. Okay guys, I finally got everything situated. I've got my rain gutter, my barrels, my uh, spigot, and I've got my runoff. My runoff is stays open so that as these get full, uh, I'm going to place um, a hose 
to run down to the garden so that that extra water will just automatically go down to the garden. Might as well keep it moving. All right, so y'all see that there. Here's my spigot. Y'all see that water running out of there? Filling up. Now I'm gonna attach a rain system to it, uh, irrigation system to it, but that is really good pressure coming out of there, out of my rain barrels. So I'm just really, really pleased at how that all turned out because all across the thing here, they're all full. And uh, well, halfway anyway right now. Turn the valve. Off the water goes and I got my water in my barrel so just a quick note quick follow-up on this DIY project and how well it worked out all right